Praise the Lord and thank you so much for joining in once again to this uh, uh, beautiful episode of Daily Devotion with Brother Enoch. Though if you are new to this channel, I would request you to kindly subscribe and hit the notification, the bell icon and so that you receive every uh, notification of whenever I upload a video on YouTube or a worship, whether it is a worship or uh, you know the word of God. And uh, so without wasting time, uh, you know, a few days back, I had uh, decided that we would go on for a Bible study. And many of you have been with me for some time, but I was not able to upload this uh, study videos on YouTube because, as you know, because of this situation, the crisis situation, the uh, internet connections have been throttled, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, the for you to upload videos on YouTube, you need to have a very fast connection and for uploading high quality videos on YouTube. So without wasting time, though, let us dive in. Uh, we will take this day as our first day of our Bible study with the Gospel of John. And uh, now when we look at the Gospel of John, few things we need to understand. We have four Gospels in the Bible, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. So what is the difference between all these four Gospels? Now I'm not going to get into the exact details of what the difference is but let me tell you when you read uh, Matthew, Mark and Luke they have uh, one particular way of presenting uh, the Gospel of Jesus Christ and when we look at John, the Gospel of John in that John has got a totally a different way of presenting the life of Jesus Christ. Now, when we read the first chapter and, uh, you know, as I have told in my first uh, video that we need to, uh, you know, uh, read a few verses. But what I would suggest is we read the whole chapter. Now, I will not be reading the whole chapter in this video. It is for us to read in our personal time. So if you have your Bibles with you, I, want, I would request you to pause this video, read the whole chapter and then come back. Now, so as we are in the first chapter of the Gospel of John, what is it that we see? Now, we see that in this particular Gospel, John in the first chapter itself, now as a writer of a book, what people generally do is they keep, you know, the ending of that particular uh, book or the topic. They keep the ending right at, you know, as a suspense till the end. And as the chapter gradually develops, you know, then the suspense is, is revealed. But it is not the case in this particular gospel. We see when John, he starts his first chapter itself, when he's starting to write this particular gospel, he almost, he covers every aspect of the life of Jesus Christ. For example, we see he introduces Jesus Christ as the word, as God, which we generally don't get to see in the other gospels. Now that's why we see many debates taking place with Jesus in, the entire, in his entire life. In the gospel, he never uh, claimed to be God, but you know, it is definitely, yes, he has uh, claimed to be God and there are portions in the gospel. If you don't know, we will cover it in a different video. Now, in the beginning was the word. This is the first verse of the first chapter. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. So you see John addressing Jesus Christ as God because why? He says that it is this word that became flesh and dwelt among men. Verse 14, if we read, and the word became flesh and lived among us and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. So the word became flesh. So this is how John introduces Jesus Christ as God, as uh, you know, the son of God and full of grace and truth. Now, again, one more uh, verse, if we read in verse 18, it says, No one has ever seen God 
It is God, the only Son who is close to the Father's heart, who has made him known. Praise the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, you know, these are few things that we need to understand when we start this Gospel of John. That this Gospel is a very special Gospel. It does not mean that the other three Gospels are not special. But this Gospel is very special because it directly jump starts by proclaiming that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. So now that we are on the same uh, page today, that we are on the same study today, I really encourage you that if you could commit to this Bible study, because as we go down the line, you know, we will see how this particular gospel reveals Jesus Christ in what way we encounter Jesus in this particular study. So now, as we said, that God, John is introducing Jesus as the Lord, as God. Next, as I said, that he even reveals the suspense of the end. He reveals the end. He kills the suspense. How do we know that? In verse 29, the next day he saw Jesus coming towards him and declared, Here is the Lamb of God who takes out the sins of the world. This is of whom I said, After me comes a man who ranks ahead of me because he was before me. I myself did not know him, but I came baptizing with water for this reason that he might be revealed to Israel. And John testified, I saw the spirit descending from heaven like a dove and it remained on him. I myself did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water said to me, he on whom you see the spirit descend and remain is the one who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. And I myself have seen and have testified that this is the son of God. Now, verse 29, the next day he saw Jesus coming towards him and declares, here is the lamp of God who takes away the sin of the world. Why lamb? Because this lamb is to be sacrificed for the sin of all the world. So he is predicting or he is informing the reader he is informing us as readers of this gospel that Jesus Christ is the lamb who is going to be sacrificed my dear brothers and sisters this is how John is introducing Jesus Christ as God again in verse 35 the next day John again was standing with the two of his disciples and as he watched Jesus walk walk by he exclaimed look here is the lamp of god and the two disciples heard him say this and they followed jesus my dear brothers and sisters when we look at this when we look at this incident now you can read the entire gospel it is definitely something that we can learn but what exactly we derive from the very first chapter it is that jesus christ is the lord and this is how John, he starts his gospel. So what do we learn today from this particular gospel? That, not from this particular gospel, but from this particular chapter of this gospel. What is it that we learn? That Jesus Christ is God. This is how John introduces Jesus. How do we know? Because he says that he is the word. The word was with God. The word was, uh, in the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. So he introduces Jesus as God because he says that this word became flesh and dwelt among us no one else but jesus christ so my dear brothers and sisters thank you for joining into this short study i told you it's going to be short the short study in the gospel of john stay tuned for tomorrow with the gospel of john chapter 2 and let's see what the lord has to say till then have a wonderful day ahead god bless you